Opening from a web URL is actually one of the easiest ways to open a data file in a Jupyter Notebook. One of the advantages of this method is that it works virtually the same on every platform, Macintosh, Windows, or in the cloud in an Azure or Colab Notebook. Essentially, the same file path argument that you would pass into a function for a local path, directory path on your computer can be replaced with the URL where the path, uh, where the file is located. So the only tricky thing is getting the right URL. I'm going to show you an example of a CSV file that is on GitHub. So here we can see a CSV file with information about schools in Nashville. The key thing to realize here is that we are not actually looking directly at the CSV file. What we are actually looking at is an HTML representation of the CSV file. If we want to, to see the actual CSV itself, we have to click on this raw button here. Clicking on the raw button will show us the actual data that's in the file. And you can see here, since it's a CSV file, it's a bunch of fields that are comma delineated. So that is the actual file, file URL that we need to load. So if I clicked on the raw button, then I can just highlight the browser URL bar and copy it and go back into the script and place it in the location where I want to save the path. There is actually an alternate way to do this. If you, um, instead of clicking on the raw button, you can also right click on the raw, bu raw button like this, and then copy the link address. Depending on your browser, the option may be slightly different, but on Chrome, it's copy link address. If you copy the link address and then paste it, you'll see that you get exactly the same URL that you did from the browser's URL bar. So now if I just pass in this URL as the path, in, uh, path argument into my function, it should work. So let's go ahead and try. We'll run the uh, command that loads the file into a data frame. And now when we take a look at the first five lines, we can see that it did in fact successfully read in that file.